been a really interesting journey for me because there was no contemplation phase for me. I don't put alcohol into my body anymore. I will make exceptions. If I was like, if I was at wine tasting, I want to be part of the experience. I don't want to miss out on the experience. So I would taste the wine. I'm probably not going to consume it, but I would taste it. I've also become very aware of putting like other things. I've, since I gave up alcohol, I actually realized that I didn't really need caffeine anymore either. And I don't have so much refined sugar. So I am a lot leaner actually as a result of giving up alcohol, but I don't think it's the alcohol. I think it's the fact that giving up alcohol made me quite aware of what I put in my body. And therefore I become leaner because I become more into optimizing my health in all shapes and forms. Um, which leads me to another point. I like to optimize my mental health. I like to optimize my body. I like to optimize my brain and I like to perform at a really high level. So in my career, I like to perform at a really high level, which doesn't mean like killing myself or like working to like, you know, and not having a good work-life balance, but I do want to wake up fresh. I do want to be, you know, really on point in meetings. I do want to you know be creative and have lots of ideas and i do want to succeed like if i'm working on a project i do want to see that project through from start to finish and be be efficient and be there for my colleagues and um and be there for my friends because it's not just about performance optimization in the workplace it's actually about performance optimization in your in my entire life like i want to be sharp i want to be able to think well i don't want to be experiencing anxiety because i'm hungover I don't want my mood to be affected because I'm hungover. And um, having those those down days, like the, the days when I would just write off a whole day because I was hungover, um, I don't want to have those anymore. I actually don't have time for it and I don't want to make time for it. It's a complete waste of time for me. When I was hungover, the tiredness along with a headache would be enough for me to be like, I cannot do anything today. I would have lost several working days in a year due to you know, at the very least being very tired because I had been drinking. Not, I mean, not that I would drink during the week, but like, yeah, like on a Saturday or Sunday, which actually my tip, typically used to be my hangover days, whenever it would just randomly end up that way, it would never be planned. Like you don't plan, well, most people don't plan to have a hangover. Some, some people do actually. I've met some that are very organized in that way. Yeah, my hangover days were always a surprise. And it was if it was on the weekend, I would just be like, oh, I'll just write off this day. It was like a day of nothing. It was just like a duvet day. Yeah, I'd rarely be hungover during the week, but if I had a few social drinks, like feeling the effects for the next morning, I'm just slower, it's hard to get on with things. The fact that I know I will never wake up with a hangover is incredible. Like I literally cannot believe that I would even have done that in the past and like allowed hangover days to be a part of my life. It's not how I wanna live my life and it's so much nicer that I don't have to deal with that anymore. Um, so in terms of like my health, my efficiency, my ability to get things done, all significantly improved through giving up alcohol. Um, so it's been really good for me, but I, I don't mind people drinking around me. I want actually want people to drink around me because um, people still say to me, because people don't know whether I drink or not. Like no one, no one knows. I mean, apart, apart from people who follow me on social media, it's like, it's not even a thing. It's like, I don't make a big deal out of it, but people still often say, let's go for drinks. And I go, yes. And then like for me, I still go for drinks with people. Like, but going for drinks for me is I order a non-alcoholic beer and non-alcoholic cocktail. You know, I love like, social environments, I love parties, I love, you know, I love bars. And as I mentioned, yeah, no one, no one has ever, people have just like, if they've said, what are you drinking? And they are going to get me a drink. They never, they never once have questioned why you're not drinking. So I think that's been interesting. And I think a few years ago, people might've questioned that a lot more. I think that things are starting to shift and change. I know that it is still a minority of my kind of age group that are leaning away from alcohol. The younger generation are much better at not gravitating towards alcohol in the first place. So I think it's important to kind of um, share, you know, information about the positive sides to giving up alcohol because it is still a huge misconception that people should or have to have an alcohol problem or be pregnant to not drink. And that's certainly, I'm, I'm neither pregnant nor have I ever had an alcohol addiction or serious problematic 
binge drinking behavior apart from what was, you know, at university, I drank like what was considered the social norm, which I know now was definitely excessive. But anyway, I got, I got away with it and no harm is done.